A while back, WeCreate sent me their 20 volt laser cutter, which is just an incredible product. I've really enjoyed using it. Well, lately they've sent me the WeCreate pass-through, which basically opens this thing up to be able to cut materials 15 inches wide up to 10 feet long. That is really a game changer. Let's check this thing out. Now putting this together was really, actually really simple. In fact, you can go on YouTube and there's even a scan code in this that you can go to and it shows you how to assemble this. I don't think the assembly took more than about 15 minutes to put together. Once you get to the um, roller piece, you wanna feed that cable through there. Once I had that done, you can use the crumb tray from the We Create, but it also comes with some metal slats, and I'm going to set those into place. Now you're going to set in the basic grid pieces, and that's what your material will run on top of. And then these are the leg extensions out from the side. And this part is great because it also comes with probably eight additional ones that you can make this feed up to 10 foot long. So now I'm going to set the machine on here and you want to make sure that it is very square to it and then I'm going to come in and connect that to the same plug you do to the, the roller that you're doing like cups and stuff. Now you're going to go ahead and connect, reconnect all your wiring and it's about wire management and make sure everything is connecting correctly. So now once I had it connected, I tried this out immediately and immediately had problems. Things were not lining up the way, so I kept playing with this. So let's go back to some basics on this. In your material on the inside, you're gonna want at about four inches minimum. When you're clamping your material down, in the center tracking wheel, which is right here, this has got a gauge on it. And when you turn the knob up and down, that is your highest setting. And that is the light. And if you turn this down onto here, now if you crank this and you start to see the second section come up, see that line showing up there? That is medium. And then to take it all the way, this is your heaviest or the high on that and the manual will show you the recommended setting now this is a very delicate one pattern that I picked, which was not the smartest thing in the world to do. But I was just playing with this, and I am actually quite surprised at how well it looks like it cut this. I have to say, I am actually I'm pretty amazed with that. Look at that. Holy smoke. Okay, so I'm really happy with how well this cut, although I should have realized that's one word, but I'm still experimenting anyway. So I'm going to try this again, doing a similar type cut, but also add some engraving to this, and I'm going to hope that works out. So let's see how well that does. All right, I've inserted everything into this. And you can look at it here and see how it is completely cut out. 
Oh my word, check this out. Look at this. Look at this. This... <laughs> How neat is that? And these just pop straight out very easily. Now engraving on the masonite didn't go so well. It just doesn't seem to give it the image that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of plywood or birch plywood in there and engrave the hummingbird on that. So now I've got it cutting one more sign for me to kind of experiment and see how I like this. So much of this is just playing with it. You're not going to straight out of the box make it work just right and it's still going to be a learning curve but it has got such incredible potential. One of the things you're going to want to make sure too is whatever length material you're going to be cutting or engraving add about 10 inches to the end length because that's what's going to need to still be back here to catch the rollers as it's finishing. It's just about done. Now you can see I'm getting a little bit of smoke coming out of here so that's something you're going to have to deal with. It's not a big deal for me because I'm outside in my shop and it's not connected to the house, but it's probably not that healthy either. It's burning plywood. Um, so I've got to look at doing something else that can help kind of pull some of that back out more than through just the hose here. Okay, so look at that. That's that's not bad. I'm a little off here, but it's not bad. So then I'm going to hit framing. See how close to that end it is. Now after reading the instructions more and setting the proper pressure down on this and making sure that your panel aligns up in there, I had a lot better results. So now that I have the conveyor on here and it's working the way I want, I'm really excited about it. But I'm not interested in taking this down or, or setting this up every time I want to use it. This is going to stay in place. Now that throws a little bit of a curveball that if you want to just cut using the recreate only, the auto laser on just flat cut will not work. What you're going to have to do is set the laser, the factory laser beds, back into place. And then set your grates back down in here. And now you can go ahead and cut. These tests, I used four foot wide material, which means to be safe, I only cut 36 inch wide material out of a four foot piece. Now I'm also noticing like I used a quarter inch piece of birch plywood, that worked fine. I used a piece of eighth inch masonite, it cut through that like butter, but it doesn't engrave great on the masonite. It took quarter inch material just fine. I don't know how much thicker you could get. You might be able to get up to about three eighths thickness, but I'm not sure. 
I haven't tried that. And I haven't tried anything longer than the four foot material. I'll be playing with more of that in the future. But for the most part, I'm really liking how this thing is working. It's, it's going to take some learning. It's going to take some trial, but doesn't everything that's worth having. This is really a pretty cool product and I'm excited to use it. I would highly recommend this and uh, I look forward to building a lot of projects with this in the future. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments section down below. And in the meantime, well, I'll see you soon.